Hi everybody, so today I am making um, a separation spell, okay? It's two people that, um, I two separate cases, okay? So I'm going to be making both cases, both both um, jobs right now. Alright, so this separation spell is to basically break up a relationship, alright? Um, I don't recommend anybody do this, why? Because when you're dealing with, um, like, negative elements, such as the ones that I've made, it, you, if you're not protect, protected, if you don't have any type of protection, um, then it will backfire, okay? Now, the, the first doll I already did, okay? So this is, this is, um, they're both like really unique cases. So this one is for a client, um, she doesn't want her her son with this girl, okay? So this girl is really, really um, bad for him. She just basically takes all his money away, and um, and like the mother, she's you know she's worried. Why is she? And I I even told her why are you you know getting involved in your son's relationship? Well, the son lives there, so um. The son is, is in college and he's still living, I mean, he's going to university, but he's, he still, um, lives at home with, with mom and dad, so, um, and she fully supports him, so it's like she's getting this done, okay? So, I already did the first one. Alright, so, the second one is, um, also a unique case. The sec second one is, I'm at, it's, actually breaking up a marriage, okay? Yes, um, I know a lot of you aren't, um, you know, too fond of that idea, but the only way that, the only time I ever do that is if there, is, is, um, if there's a lot of problems in the, in the matrimony, and in this case there is, this, um, the woman is really, really bad to the guy, and, um, we did readings on, on all three of them, and it was just a terrible, abusive relationship, and, um, and the best thing, you know, the, 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 the guys already left the home before, and, um, and we just want to break that relationship up. Okay, so, I have my black cloth, you know, that I love to do little voodoo dolls, so we're going to do our voodoo dolls. Okay, so I already worked on one. And that's for the first relationship, okay? And then, um, we're gonna do the second one, okay? So I have my black cloth, I have again the person's name that I'm doing, putting there. Now I, this is, um, a separation powder, okay? I do this myself. I don't go, I don't buy any store bought oils or powders or ointments. Anything to dress the counter or anything. I make everything myself. So I'm just going to go and shake this up. There's a lot of things. There's chili peppers in here. There's um, volcano ashes. There's just a bunch of stuff, okay? So, um, put that in there. And I'm pretty sure that you guys probably saw how to make the dolls. I don't like to buy them, so. And I'm wearing gloves because I just got my nails done. And also because every time I'm working with negative elements, such as these, um, I like to wear gloves. And that's why I have this here so that everything else will land on there. So yeah, so this person with with this with this um particular spell, she's actually the client of mine is actually having to do um she's doing a few a few spells. She's doing um 
we're doing this one. We're doing, um, what else are we doing? We're doing a binding spell to bind him to her. And the only reason, like I said, that I agreed, remember I love to use yarn, okay? It's just easier to work with. The only reason why I agreed to take this, this case on is because it is in her, in her favor, okay? Now, um, all of the readings, they were just all in her favor, and she got readings not only by my, from my, myself, but a, other, another person as well, and everything was, was on point with what I said. So, I agreed to do this. So, the, the only reason that I'm going to do also a binding spell, he already has feelings for her. Okay, this guy is head over heels with this woman. Okay. But she's, you know, being a woman, and she's highly insecure, so she feels she needs to do this. I told her she doesn't need to do it, but she wants to do it, so I'm doing it. Okay. So, um, and she's also gonna, um, going to be doing baths at home. I sent her to do... Um, I, I emailed her a recipe for some money baths, and um, a recipe for a love bath. So she will be starting those soon, and she will also be coming very, very soon to receive a lecco. She wants to get initiated. Which is great. This doll is looking like it's a cat or something. Alright, so let's do the feet. Now, when I do these type of spells, I do a reading. I want to make sure that it's going to, you know, that it's possible and that, of course, it's going to work 100%. I don't want you sending me anything, you know, if I think that it's not going to work and I, I just, I don't like that. That's not me. I'm here to help, not to take money. So, um... So yeah, so so all of the readings and I and I, I did the readings on my on my um on my boleda and I did a reading with the muerto which I used chamalongos and I did a reading with the cards. It's going to come out really deformed and actually going to take a picture of it because there's a reason why it's coming out like this. It looks like an animal and I'm really amazed at why it's coming out like this. Now, people, if you guys are messaging me or, you know, texting me or whatever, emailing me, and I'm not responding, it's because I'm busy doing, doing, um, spell work, okay? So, don't worry, I usually answer all of my, my emails and my messages at night. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put the little feet.
Now, if you guys are wondering what I put in the head, what, what you know, good stuff is, and you, you guys want some, just let me know because I do mail this out. All right, so I we're gonna use the pictures. To the right person. Okay, I have the the prayer to um, it's called Anima del Retiro. Okay, and I'm going to put it on there. Okay. And then I'm going to put him and her, their names are together, and instead of hooking them up like this, I'm going to put them back to back like this. Okay? Because we want... We want their backs to each other, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, there's my one. And we're going to find it again. Okay, and that prayer, I will be pray praying it. And make sure in every night, so since this is a negative spell, um, I will be doing it at night time, praying on it. Okay, let me do the knots. Hate working with the last spot. So, we have our doll. Here we have our doll, and it's super deformed looking, but okay. Then, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to baptize the doll, okay? Remember when I baptized, um, the other doll, okay, for the protection spell. I baptized it in the Omiero with all the good herbs. Well, this time we're going to baptize it, baptize them in vinegar, okay? So, let me mention their names. Do I have it written down here somewhere? There you go. Okay. I'm going to mentally do this because I don't want, you know, I don't want to say their names. Out loud. Okay, so, so I just baptized it, okay, then I'm going to take my, oh no, don't put it in, my pen, 
and I am going to remember this is a representation of the, the, the person, okay? I'm going to pin one on the head to break away those feelings, okay? I don't know if you can see that. We don't want, we don't want him thinking of her, okay? We're going to do it in the arms so that he can't hug her. We're going to do it in the in the heart that she won't have any any type of feelings for her. Okay, we're gonna put one in the genital area. Right there. But he won't want to sexually be with her. Going to put one on each leg so that she can't run to her. And we're going to put one on each foot, okay? You don't want them walking to her either. Even going near her. He's not going to want to go near her. Okay. So then we're going to put them in a jar. Okay, I'm going to work on my other doll.